mad at me if I say my faith is spoken of throughout the whole earth that's where this is going the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraw thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Romans chapter 1 verse 8 I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world where's this faith that they're speaking of here it's in the world yeah. say my faith, my faith is, spoken is spoken in the earth, in the earth. Yeah. we'll get into this a little later I have some things that I'm going to say tonight that a lot of people aren't going to like in fact most people won't want to hear it they don't want to hear it that way but we do we say here and we do hear things that other people aren't doing or saying and therefore say therefore, therefore. they can't go where we're going mm -hmm. so I'm gonna make a statement towards the end of this message that most people don't want to hear in fact I don't want to say it myself but you know I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> years ago I made a commitment to say what God tells me to say regardless of who gets up and leaves and sometimes it's uncomfortable because I lots of times I'm saying things that I'll go back and listen to the tape and I'll, I can't believe I said that but I've committed say he's committed, he's committed to saying what God told me to say which means I get promoted and I get to go to places other people don't get to go yes. that pleases God yes. I know this is true say I know this is true I, this is true. I can hear the truth I hear it it's it's almost palpable when you get there and you go there guess what if you've been there you get to go there again but if you go hey wait a minute I don't want to go there you can't go there anymore God won't even mention it for probably 10 20 years I've been there where I rejected something he said to me and it took 10 or 20 years for me to go back there guess what I did next time I'm going there yeah. you said that's too much and it was for you listen I hope you're excited about it I'm gonna say a whole bunch of things and I'm not gonna stutter I'm gonna say it strong and loud and people are gonna hear it and they're gonna be changed I'm gonna be changed you don't know but I go back and I'll listen to these things afterwards and I receive them as if somebody is preaching to me because half the time I don't don't even remember the things I said I mean I remember the notes but I don't remember the things I said I think maybe if you're doing it right that's the way it should be my faith is spoken of throughout the whole world deal with it now I'm gonna be talking about my faith is that a scripture Paul said yo hey hey your faith is spoken of throughout the so don't don't get mad at me if I say my faith is spoken of throughout the whole earth that's where this is going yes. say that's where this is going my faith is spoken of throughout the whole earth listen and agree or don't agree get on board or don't get on board <laughs> doesn't matter to me I'm going here say I'm going, I'm going here I have come to know the Holy Ghost as the Living God in the earth today and I get to walk with him the Holy Ghost the Living God by speaking words especially in agreement with his word yes. are you here yes. say I'm here. I'm, here. I'm here I can't go back from that how are you gonna go back from that you've come to that that's what I say when I I've come to know him the Holy Ghost as a living God I'm come here where else are you gonna go he's the living God mm -hmm. serve some fake God some dead God 
he's a living god that means he's alive is this too difficult he's alive he's living he knows how to live obviously he's been doing it a lot longer than you have and we get to walk with him my faith that is spoken you know faith has to be spoken yes. without speaking there's no faith my faith that is spoken is in a person named Holy Ghost my faith is in him he's a person see this is where people miss it they think he's a power or he's an anointing or he's an effluence or something you don't have faith in a power that's just a law of cause and reaction faith in electricity you don't need faith in electricity it just does what it does when you do the right thing that it's supposed to do Amen. but it's not a person you greet your electricity when you come home <laughs> hello electricity you gonna power my stuff today maybe he's unwilling to power your stuff that day because electricity has a will it doesn't have a will do you understand a person has a will and we have faith in a person if I have faith in the Holy Ghost it's because he's a person and I get to know him people that think the Holy Ghost is an anointing just an anointing he's not an anointing he has an anointing and gives anointings but the Holy Ghost is a person people think that he's just an anointing can't go here they can't go here they can't go here you might hear me say some things many times it's because that's what the Holy Ghost is putting his finger on I don't want to say it that way I'm a much nicer person I want people to like me you'd say I don't think you want anybody to like you <laughs> the way you say things people that think he is an anointing can't go here because you don't worship an anointing you know that's why they would criticize you they'd say oh you're worshiping the anointing you're worshiping the gifts no I'm not you don't know the Holy Ghost is God you should worship God you should get to know God yes. Holy Ghost is living God he's in the earth today Amen. get to know him well this is my faith and it's spoken did I speak have I spoken this stuff this is my faith in the living God and it is spoken and I'm speaking it now and I've spoken it before and I'm gonna keep speaking it and it's gonna go all over the earth it's spoken faith if you think you have faith and you aren't speaking it then you don't have faith right that's why we walk with the Holy Ghost faith in the Holy Ghost by speaking and I got a, got a letter today from somebody like ah, you know what I've been doing this for 30 some years and praying for this and praying for that and, and it's not working I'm gonna use your way of doing it I'm like you watch you watch within a few short weeks things are gonna start happening you're gonna wonder what what have I been doing all this time Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God we're coming to God yep. trying to please God coming to God must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him two things you must believe he is and that he rewards you Amen. say believe he is, believe he is. And, that he and that he rewards you it two things it's not that difficult if, if we're gonna have faith that's faith believing he is and he's rewarding me is and rewarding me is and rewarding me is and rewarding me rewarding me is without faith spoken right without faith we already covered that gotta keep up without faith spoken he's not pleased with you you want to say that without faith, without faith. Spoken, spoken he's not, he's not. Pleased, pleased with me what are we gonna do with that we're gonna start saying things yes say I'm gonna start saying things what will he be then pleased with you and if he's pleased with you you're gonna have the reward don't stop saying he that comes to God God who God the Holy Ghost you're in the earth who's the only God in the earth today who are you going to come to Holy Ghost 
he that comes to God the Holy Ghost must believe that he is he who he the Holy Ghost you have to believe that the Holy Ghost is is what is what is God you're coming to God you're believing that he is the Holy Ghost are you here I'm talking about my faith that's spoken we'll be speaking it we're coming to God believing he is is God is a person is in the earth how did he get in the earth Jesus sent him I believe he is I believe he is God I believe he is in the earth and he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him will he reward someone that diligently seeks him say him yeah. now if we're gonna if he's gonna reward us it must be him that has the rewards that's why I'm seeking him Amen. you're seeking him for the rewards I'm scriptural I want the reward Amen. is there anything wrong with that no in fact it pleases God because faith has to believe that he is and that he rewards me for my diligence in seeking him does this make sense so we believe that he is is what is God he is alive right he's living God he knows how to live and he you must believe that he is somebody that has the rewards or you wouldn't seek him right. and we believe that he is in the earth today is this too difficult no. so we got a lot of things straight we do a lot of other people don't well my faith is spoken it goes like this I believe the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and I walk with him by saying words yes. that's my faith I've come to that faith from a lot of different other places mm -hmm. but now I walk with the Holy Ghost as the Living God in the earth today speaking because faith speaks yes. and he rewards me because of it deal with it a lot of people won't like it but you're gonna get rewarded and they're gonna have to deal with it Amen. so I believe the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and I walk with him by saying words and he rewards me I believe he rewards me yes. when I'm saying words I believe he rewards me I'm saying words and I believe he rewards me and I'm saying words and I believe he the Holy Ghost I believe is and is in the earth is rewarding me he is you know he does you know Amen. I can prove it you know Amen. who rewards you Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost the Living God the one in the earth see this is great I would come here if I were me <laughs> I don't know any place else I could go and hear this <laughs> who rewards you Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost get that straight he living God Holy Ghost God in the earth rewards you how many people don't believe this a pretty a pretty good bucket full anyway pretty big bucket well I believe it say I believe it, I believe it. that's faith without faith you're not pleasing him with faith you are pleasing him and he rewards you is this any good he the Holy Ghost is a rewarder of me I believe it when I diligently seek him and you're like how do I seek him well I'll show you I'm glad you came Hebrews chapter 11 verse 14 for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country or seek a kingdom they that say such things declare plainly that they seek they that say seek they that say such things seek they that say such things seek the seeking is the saying so when you're saying you're seeking and he rewards them that diligently seek him well how do i seek him by saying they that say such things seek a kingdom saying is seeking a manifestation of the kingdom 
say that saying, saying. is seeking, is seeking. A, manifestation a manifestation of the kingdom, of the kingdom. saying is seeking seeking is saying there's no seeking without saying he rewards those who diligently speak he rewards those who diligently speak my faith is spoken are you getting this yeah. <laughs> and the holy ghost rewards the speaking the kingdom such things said are that kingdom that you get to live in if this is true that we just read because they're seeking by saying mm -hmm. say they're seeking by saying, they're seeking by saying. then the kingdom that they're seeking must be in the saying yes. are you here yes. first Timothy chapter 6 and verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who does it say the rich in this world should trust in the living God. trust in the living God he'll make you rich in this world mm -hmm. charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy who does this living God Holy Ghost Holy Ghost is the living God he's the one who does it gives us richly all things that sounds like a reward to me he said trust in that means faith have faith in living God who rewards you with what richly all things now if I can get richly all things from this God this living God that rewards me what else do I need I need him only that's right. well that's good because he's the only God in the earth today Amen. are you here yes. so we have faith we trust in living God who gives me richly that's my faith that's my faith spoken I say living God gives me richly all things to enjoy deal with it living God is giving me richly all things to enjoy I speak it my faith is spoken and living God gives me richly all things to enjoy yes. you should try that you should do that you should say it every day every day I don't want anyone to say that yeah, you don't want to do a lot of stuff you don't want to bathe you probably should are you here yes. we're talking about living if you're gonna live you're gonna live with a living God that means living and we do it by faith by saying words that just encapsulates so much trust in have faith in which means say words in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy he gives me richly all things to enjoy is this scriptural does your Bible say that the living God gives you richly all things to enjoy yes. well the living God is the Holy Ghost and I say such things here's the deal I enjoy he gives me richly all things to enjoy. I enjoy being healed I don't like being sick I dislike it in fact I don't get sick have been sick long long time because I enjoy being healed I enjoy having all my bills paid and then money left over and if I see somebody that I want to give some money to I give them money Amen. if I see somebody behind me in the grocery store and they look sad I pay for their groceries all they have to do is look sad they should follow me around and just look sad <laughs> I enjoy having more than more than enough that means you're prosperous and moving in that direction yes. right yes. I enjoy is this okay? Yes. okay I'm trusting my faith is in the Living God and if my faith is in the Living God I can enjoy all things Amen. right yes. I enjoy eating good food yes. we know <laughs> I enjoy heaven is my eternal home yes. I enjoy youth renewal say I enjoy, I enjoy youth, renewal. youth renewal who does this living on all things to enjoy do you enjoy it no I yes. don't enjoy it I enjoy being old and crotchety well we don't enjoy that 
probably why we're not hanging out with you so much Amen. but I enjoy having is my I enjoy my sins forgiven thank God yes. who does it Holy Ghost does it he's the one who does all things and gives you all things to enjoy now we're coming up upon the statement that I'm about ready to make I'm not ready to make it yet I need a couple more things I enjoy being healed I enjoy my sins forgiven I enjoy heaven as eternal home I enjoy being prosperous I enjoy being more wealthy by the day Amen. say I enjoy, I enjoy being more wealthy, being more wealthy by, the by the day this is my faith spoken I enjoy the living God giving me richly all things to enjoy all things all things that's the reward of knowing the living God and having faith in the living God Amen. all things well I've come to know him the Holy Ghost as God as the living God as the only say only, only the only part of the Godhead in the earth today Jesus is not in the earth I mean, you want to get people to get really mad at you say that not that you want them to be mad at you but sometimes they need to realize this Jesus isn't here he will return say will return. will return if he will return he's not here who is here he said he'd send the another the Holy Ghost is here I have come to know him the Holy Ghost as God the living God and the only part of the Godhead in the earth the only part of the Godhead in the earth his name is the Holy Ghost and there is no other there is no other God there is no other part of the Godhead in the earth today he came say he came, he came. and he's here. he's here Holy Ghost Amen. and when I say Holy Ghost only that's what I'm talking about and I worship him as God oh oh that's too far you can't go here then if you know him as God how many times does the Bible talk about you should worship God the problem is you don't know him as God therefore you don't worship him people contact me all the time say they don't worship the Holy Ghost in our church and I say oh you mean they don't worship God they don't know him as God see they think he's some kind of whispery wind or something Luke chapter 4 verse 8 you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve who's the only God in the earth today Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost worship him serve him and all things shall be richly given to you Amen. is that any good worship the Holy Ghost serve the Holy Ghost by saying and he all things will be richly given to you Amen. that's my faith and it's spoken Amen. I am a Holy Ghost worshiper I worship the Holy Ghost it's something a lot of people don't do I feel bad for them but they can't go where I'm going they've refused to go through that door I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper I'm worshiping the Lord my God and him only and people think I'm twisting the scriptures the problem is they're so twisted already in their head that when I straighten it out it looks crooked Amen. they don't want it that straight that's why I say get it straight the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today you walk with him and if he's God you should worship God well let's read it again it says thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve if I fulfill that shalt that Jesus said would I be fulfilling a script would I would you say that that scripture right there could be the apex of a perfect life by serving the Lord your God and him only worshiping him and him only serving yes. if so he said only did he say only and him only and him and some other things only no only means only so when you find out who God is you should worship him and serve him only then there must be everything in only is he gonna give you a scripture like that and leave a whole bunch of stuff out nope. sounds just like and he'll give you richly all things all things all things who will Holy Ghost 
when you worship him and serve him you will richly have all things yes. Holy Ghost when you worship him and serve him will give you richly all things mm -hmm. say Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost when I worship him I worship and him. serve him serve will him. give me richly all things that's your faith and you've spoken it now it can go throughout the whole earth the earth must listen so we've got living God I hope you understand that he's the living God say he's the living God, he's the living God. stop giving me problems he's the living God that gives me richly all things Amen. right yes. if the living God gives me richly all things are you ready Jesus can't Jesus can't now I used to say it this way and I it's, it's still true I used to say Jesus isn't going to do anything for you because that's so popular and I get a lot of invites over that statement yes. Jesus isn't going to do anything for you he's already sat down at the right hand of the Father and sent another so he sat down he, it's done he's done he will return yes. say he will return. he will return do you believe Jesus will return yes. then he's not here yes. and he's not gonna do anything for you mm -hmm. right. get that straight say get that straight. get that straight Jesus isn't going to do anything for you not one thing nothing the Bible does say he does intercede so he can pray to the Father that's nice Amen. good with that but he's not gonna do anything you understand who is the one who do things for you in the earth holy, holy ghost. ghost he's the living god he's the one in the earth he's the one that rewards us say rewards us rewards. that means doing yes. he rewards us with all things that would mean healing youth renewal say youth renewal. youth renewal prosperity as much as you can stand and probably more Amen. oh that's i didn't want to say that I did not want to say I say I used to say Jesus isn't going to do anything for you but it's stronger often the Holy Ghost will do that to me say it's stronger say it's stronger oh, Jesus man. can't he can't you want him to but he can't he's not here and it's not his dispensation he can't touch it you'll go look at him Jesus appearing in a vision in the book of Revelation and he said listen to what the Spirit saith to the churches Amen. He didn't say listen to what I'm saying yeah. he can't That's right. it's not his dispensation he sat down and sent another the Holy Ghost is the only one who can do all those things who can give you richly all things to enjoy get that straight unless you just want to keep going along in your bumbly root and your bumbly religion being sad with nothing now, I'm tired of that I didn't really like it I was much more pious back then though Jesus shall return he can't do it now he can't he can't he isn't coming to heal your sad body Jesus isn't coming to heal you and if we're lying to people if we tell them that he is well this message isn't nearly as fun as I hoped it would be you understand Jesus can't do it even if he wanted to he can't every time people will bring this up yeah but what about Paul on the road to Damascus what about this where Jesus appeared Jesus appeared it was by a vision it was by discerning of spirits it was by the operation of the Holy Ghost that they saw Jesus that wasn't Jesus returning I've seen Jesus at least four times the real Jesus not this fictional Jesus that everybody wants to talk about and he's not mad at me for saying this he's like say it stronger I can't so Jesus can't but the Holy Ghost say the Holy Ghost the, Holy Ghost. the one I worship, the one I worship. Can, can do all things richly for your enjoyment the Holy Ghost can let's look at this it said living God will richly do these things all things first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 
and remember jesus can't say jesus can't jesus can't sounds sounds not religious enough does it <laughs> jesus can't do that have you ever heard anybody say that nope. me either and i didn't want to say it why do i have to say these things jesus can't do it he said say it stronger i used to say jesus won't can't stronger jesus can do anything jesus can't no he can't first corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self he's a self he's one yeah. say he's one. he's one he's a self that one and self-same spirit dividing to every man severally as he say he's a he, he's a he. as he wills mm -hmm. who does this the holy, ghost. the holy ghost the person of the holy ghost divides the gifts of the spirit and up in there was healing and all these other things yeah. who does it holy ghost as he wills mm -hmm. say as he wills, as he wills. say as he wills, as he wills. You know what increases his willingness towards you worshiping him holy ghost i worship you i was driving back home the other day you know i'm like oh, i got an hour left yeah. i had several hours before that where I, I confessed scriptures you know that right i confess scriptures the blessing of the lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it and those who bless me are blessed are made rich have no sorrow added Amen. same blessing on me is on them i say this i'll say it and i say it and i say these things all the time and that blessing gets on them it makes them rich right. makes the sorrows go away are you here yes. so I'm, I'm gonna have i gotta let at least an hour to get home and the holy ghost says just worship me and i started worshiping him and worshiping him and i'd say i'd worship you holy ghost i worship you holy ghost only i worship you holy ghost i worship you holy ghost and i began to realize say realize, realize. That he does all things now i can i agree with confessing the scripture i've been pre preaching on confessing the scripture but when you're worshiping him you're getting him involved in all of your things yeah. Yeah. worshiping him i worship you holy ghost when you know who you're worshiping all of the promises are yes and amen in him amen. he is the promise he's the one who does all these things right yes. in the earth he's God in the earth mm -hmm. so I worship you Holy Ghost only and what's on the inside of that on the inside of worshiping him that's inside information when you worship him you get all things that increases his favor towards you yes. he lets you in a room that no very few people are in say I'm in, a room. I'm in a room very few people are in, very few people are in. which means he knows who you are and the angels that are in that room know who you are yes. and they're then able to do things for you that they couldn't do before they could just stand there and wait but now they've been activated on your behalf to do things that you couldn't even think about doing yes. the Holy Ghost said to me after that period of time worshiping him for an hour say worshiping him for an hour an hour. an hour oh come on you baby mm -hmm. i worship you holy ghost you know it becomes enjoyable doesn't it it becomes enjoyable after a period of time mm -hmm. and he starts opening up things to you he changes you yes. yeah. and you could use some changing <laughs> he said i will deliver him because he worships me i will deliver him because he worships me can you hear that yes. he said i will deliver him because he worships me hebrews chapter 11 verse 16 wherefore god is not ashamed to be called their god yes. when you get your faith right in the holy ghost you believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of you because you diligently seek him and you seeking him by speaking he's not ashamed to be called your god Amen. say the holy ghost, the holy ghost is, not is not ashamed to be called, be called my god, my god. Amen. that's your faith 
Are you getting this? Yes. That's why I say I don't have a problem saying I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper. God is not ashamed to be called mm -hmm. their God. Say called. Oh. God's ashamed, I think, of a lot of people because they don't call him their God. He's not ashamed of you because you call him your God. Are you getting this? Yeah. And you're calling him by saying what he does, saying what his word says. And he's not ashamed. Ha, 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 Same, ver same God in verse 6 that you had to believe was and rewards you. Mm -hmm. Right? He rewards those who diligently seek, seek by speaking. He's not ashamed. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. I know that a lot of you are getting this. In worshiping and serving by saying must be all things. I hope I brought you up to this place. Worshiping the Holy Ghost and saying scriptures must be all things. I declare it to be true. I testify it to be true. Coming to know the Holy Ghost as God, worshiping the Lord my God, and serving Him by speaking in agreement with His Word is all things. Yes. Are you getting this? Yes. That's my faith. Spoken. Are you happy? Yes. Throughout the whole earth. See, now remember, you choke, on, wherever you choke or you break, you can't go there. I'm foolish enough to believe that if I say things that the Holy Ghost tell me to, tells me to say and I say them accurately with the appropriate strength then it will go throughout the whole earth I have scripture on it and these words many of which I've said tonight are only found here but they're beginning to take hold yes. they're beginning to grab on the people in their inner man because this is the day and the hour when we must step forward and go to the higher places in God that have been left vacant for years yes. because few have been willing to go here but we're going say I'm going in the anointing and the power of the Spirit of God because he is not ashamed of you will be higher and more present with you as you speak his words you'll see it you'll know it it will happen to you and you'll be able to say I testify to the fact that I'm not ashamed the Holy Ghost is the Living God and I walk with him in the earth you want to know how come along with me come join me come be part of my household of faith yeah. are you here yes. <laughs> so you got to ask yourself are you part of this house are you part of this household of faith listen if you are part of this household of faith expect prosperity if you're part of this household of faith expect your youth to be renewed Amen. for I the Living God says the Spirit of the Lord shall begin to operate in the cells of your body and in the money and your finances and your bank account and your job and you'll look back at this day and say that is the day when things began to change for me when I made a commitment to the Holy Ghost and wasn't ashamed of him and he wasn't ashamed of me and I began worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word expect prosperity say expect prosperity, expect prosperity. say expect prosperity. expect prosperity what does that mean you expect it Amen. I expect it Amen. I'm hanging out with the richest dude in the universe has ever been and I'm supposed to not be prosperous shame on me how healed is he he's pretty darn healed say pretty darn right how, how young is he I preached on this before I'm not even gonna go there because it freaked me out but he he he's very young and he's very old you understand that yes. expect a reward that's what I'm saying worship the Living God and expect to be rewarded now you can't say that I just did worship the Holy Ghost as the Living God and expect to be rewarded Amen. say I worship the Living God I the living and God. I, expect I expect to be, to be rewarded. rewarded 
richly all things don't drop it don't say well I'm, mm, yeah, not that yes that pick it back up yeah. that too mm -hmm. this and that and all of it yes. say all of it all, of it. all things to enjoy yes. and then enjoy it let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people heard this word and that you've done something on the inside of them supernatural things have been changed and imparted and they will never be the same and as they commit to go forward with you you will open up waves and paths for them and they will be blessed beyond measure and we'll give you all the glory and the praise in the wonderful name of Jesus amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering just hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you're the Living God and that you are actively doing things in my finances right now I call myself rich because that's what you've made me I give you all the glory in Jesus name amen in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today 